<laughs> I think he ate too much. He ate all the bird food. <laughs> Picking. Are you going to eat all those crumbs? Well, hello, all of you beautiful Bohoish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Bohoish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Today has me so frustrated. I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. I haven't put on any makeup. I haven't done anything. I've been working on that video for the book discussion all morning long. If you all saw my short, you will know that I spent like two and a half days, literally two and a half days, editing an hour video. And it just, I couldn't get it figured out. I, I have iMovie, which is normally, normally pretty good. Um, it only one other time did it give me an issue um, and it wasn't as bad as this one and it just it won't let me it, it tells me there's a problem with a portion of the video but it won't tell me what portion of the video it's having a problem with so I don't know guys I'm really upset about it because it was such an amazing book discussion at least we thought it at least we thought it was and I thought you all would really enjoy it and you know what? It's just the fact of all the planning and the work that went into it. And then all of the behind the scenes editing and stuff that I did all the time I spent. I haven't painted yet this week because I've been, well, I was gone all day Monday, but then, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, this morning has been spent trying to get that video up. So you're seeing this. It's right after I did the little short on my channel. I said, I'm gonna go paint. I am, I'm gonna feed the dogs. Just gave them a bath. I'm gonna feed them again. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go paint. And then I'll feel better. <laughs> the cutest babies. Mama loves you so much. Sadie, are you glitching? You okay? You okay there? <laughs> Guys, when I set up my phone onto the tripod in the kitchen, I didn't realize I had hit the SOS, the emergency thing. And it was kind of like counting down and I hit cancel. That's like all I need today par for the course right so i thought i would just kind of go through a little bit of my process with you guys um here is where i just threw some inks on a canvas and just did a loose sketch it's the paint that brings it to life i don't as i've said before i don't really focus so much on the drawing as much as i do on the painting to bring it to life. And here is where I have finished the painting part. And then I decided to take her into abstract. So that's what you're seeing here. I added a little bit of collage. I was putting in some um, oil pastels to brighten it up. And yeah, so that's a lot, That's it's a lot of fun. And then this is the finished painting after all of the collage work was completed and all of the various inks and color that I used. So yeah, this is her completed. Just trying to get loose and just have fun with collage. You can see I used 
collage. I also used um, alcohol inks. Yeah. And I just really had a great time. So I thought I would make this a series. And this is the one that I finished yesterday. So I'm really enjoying this process of just letting loose, having fun. And I think that they turned out really beautiful. I have, well, I haven't started yet. I'm gonna start on the third one in the series today. It's kind of an odd angle when I don't have them hanging up, but you get the gist. So one of my favorite things to do after painting is varnishing. And I'm wondering if you'll be able to see. I like to varnish in gloss. And just, oh, and look at those, um, uh, those glowy alcohol inks. <laughs> Can you see them glow? I just think that they're absolutely amazing. I have so much fun with them. And they're like a little surprise because you don't even know they're on the painting until you walk by and the light hits. And it's especially pronounced when there's a gloss varnish. So you see how this looks with the gloss. And this one has not been varnished yet. Um, so it's pretty flat. So I cannot wait, oh, but there is, you can see some of the, uh, the shiny alcohol inks that I used. But yeah, I just need to varnish this one and then I'll paint the edges black. And I can't wait to see them hanging up together. There goes Horatio. Everything is a mess. <laughs> it is a total, absolute disaster. And believe it or not, I did straighten up a little bit yesterday. But oh my goodness. This is a lion that I'm working on. He's very much just in the middle phase. So that's pretty much just getting base layers down. So I'm looking forward to getting him finished this week. Those are just base layers. He's not the lion from Wizard of Oz, as Ivy said he looked like. And I told her that it's just the beginning. <laughs> it's just the first couple of layers down. Hey, ignore all the mess. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. Yeah, this is a working studio. <laughs> And don't worry about my floors. It's acrylic. It wipes right up. That's some drippies I did yesterday. But wow, I really need to get in here and scrub this wallpaper that I have down on the floor. Don't worry about the outlet. I do keep it covered. The paint you see on there was paint that was on me that I bumped. I mean, on the painting, when I laid it on the floor, I accidentally bumped and it got some paint on there. I do not allow drippies to go in there at all. So no worries about electrocution or anything like that. Wow, it's really messy. So I wanted y'all to see a really super cool process and why I love varnishing. Um, if you are an artist yourself and, oops, why am I doing it that way? I'm supposed to do this genteely. Varnish you need to mix gently, but anyway. If you are an artist and if you have been on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen other artists share the joys of varnishing. <laughs> and if you're not an artist, but it just, these kind of things interest you and you like to see transformations and stuff like that, this, was, this will be right up your alley. Um, I used to varnish in satin, which you know is in between the gloss and the matte. But it wasn't until, and it does make a difference. It just really finishes the painting. It protects it from UVs. Um, it makes the painting archival and, or it helps with archivability. But when I started using gloss, that changed everything for me. I'm hoping it'll pick up. I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. The lighting's not that great in here, but I have to varnish flat. So I use my dining room table but I want you to be able to see the difference um, 
in the color when I do varnish. Varnishing really brings out the colors. It makes it very bright. It just brightens everything up so beautifully, especially with gloss. I usually do two to three coats. Now I just like to step back and make sure that this first coat is even. Some people like to varnish in the direction of the paint. I just, I kind of tend to like it more uniform. But remember how I just showed you how flat it looked a few moments ago when I compared it to my other paint that had already been varnished? That's oh, Ophelia. The colors are just so pronounced. Y'all, I tried to film with my... I did it again. I alerted the police department by accident just a few minutes ago. Well, actually, no. I canceled it, but... Gosh, I don't understand when I flip my phone so that I can get the, the, the back the back camera to because it's clearer when you use the back camera. It's just a higher quality of video. But man, the last two times I've tried to do that, I've nearly called the cops on myself. So eh. anyway, I just kind of wanted to let you know about varnishing. Hopefully that was interesting to you. hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am just so grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me today and giving me some of your precious time. I wanted to let you know that even though Ivy, Ice, and I are going to try to do a small little video the next time we get together on Rebecca because of, because of, you know, we, Ivy has chosen her book, and that is The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie. So if you want to join us for that, if you want to read along for that. And that book discussion will be the second week in September. If you've been enjoying my content and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to boot the bell. Also, likes and comments go a long way to helping this channel. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time. Bye.